hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we will be doing a fulani or also known as tribal braids tutorial so to start i've already box braided my own hair this is going to be a easy hairstyle because i will be doing individual crochet braids i want to thank divatrust.com for sponsoring this video i am using the main concept afro natural braids from their website which is only $7.95 and I saw these at my local beauty supply store for $20. So in order to do this hairstyle, I am doing the individual crochet method. Basically, you take your box braid and you loop the crochet braid into your box braid. Once you loop the hair into the box braid, what you want to do is stitch your braid into the box braid. So you will do that by inserting your crochet hook into the braid and just continuously doing that and camouflaging it within the braid. Each braid took me about two minutes to individually crochet the braids. I did use only one pack of hair for this so if you do do this hairstyle keep in mind that one pack is enough but just to be on the safe side I do recommend two packs because I did mess up a couple of braids so you want to have enough left over so it's real simple to do as you can see so next I'm just adding my edge control um, and I'm going to begin doing the top of the hair. Now on the top part, I did have to use extensions for this part. Um, so I did use sensational braiding hair. Now because it is a tribal uh, braid, I am going to do the braid down the middle. This is optional, but I like the look that it gives. So I'm doing feed in braids and actually this is my first time doing feed in braids and they actually were very simple to do. So basically what I did was I took one end and I held it in my mouth and then I began braiding and I added the other end after I braided twice to the hair. So here I am, I'm putting it in my mouth on one end and as you can see, I'm braiding it. And when I kind of get it in there, I just braid it again. It looks difficult, but it actually is super easy. And if you can corn roll, you definitely can do this. So the top portion did take me an hour and a half. And overall, this hairstyle did take me about four hours. So once I've braided it, I just continue to braid all the way to the ends. And once I got to the side, I kind of made a triangle pattern. And I'm just going ahead and I'm corn rolling and still doing that same step, grabbing the hair with my mouth and braiding it into the hair. So I find this very easy. I personally have went to the African braiding shop for it to get my hair braided in the past and it was very tight for me personally so if you don't do well with tight braids I definitely recommend you trying this um, because I am tender headed but this hairstyle overall was not tight and it did last long and <laughs> let's be honest everybody loves saving their coins so I found this doing this hairstyle overall to be very therapeutic and very simple to do I will be definitely implementing this protective style so here are the braids once I finished corn rolling now I'm gonna add some beads to finish this look I got these beads from my local beauty supply store and I did not add them to all of the braids I just added them to the ends of some of the braids 
so here is how it looks styled and i'm absolutely loving this hairstyle i've received so many compliments and if you do this hairstyle please tag me i would love to see it so thank you diva trust for sponsoring this video and if you have not checked out my previous video please take a look um this is my daughter and she wanted these braids so bad i did a kid friendly version for her